Singapore is our second home. We're originally from the Philippines, but this, is, this has been home for the past 22 years. One of the best things about moving to Singapore for us was the fact that we saw so much work from the region. Mike and I, we really love um, collecting Southeast Asian art. What's interesting about Southeast Asian art is that it really incorporates a lot of local issues and narratives. So for instance, um, this is a region where spirituality and religion really are important to the people. And so you see that in a lot of the art. Also, the cultures are very different. You have artists talking about urbanization, for instance. You have artists talking about climate change, feminist issues. All these uh, come out in very interesting ways using materials that are found locally. Um, uh, there's a lot of uh, art that makes use of found objects, art that uses materials like rattan and bamboo, which are indigenous to this region. People are, are finding that Southeast Asian art has a, a dynamic breadth and really talks about important things that are reflective of the contemporary societies in this region. Mike and I um, feel that we want our collection to speak of a certain period. Like eventually when we stop collecting, we want to look back at the things that we collected and understand that this was Southeast Asia at a certain period. And you cannot remove from that view the political and the social uh, issues. And so more and more we are looking at art that talks about the realities, about the difficulties and the challenges. That's why we're drawn to the political, the hard art, the pieces that people don't normally want to purchase. Recently, we've really moved towards works that feature different materials. Rather than just formulaic paintings, we're looking at installations. We have assemblage, we have light boxes, hanging sculptures. A lot of the works that we're looking at now are using different mediums and different materials that express the unique situations in, in Southeast Asia. What I like is that pieces in our collection sort of converse with each other. There are commonalities which draw from, from obviously the, the common culture shared um, in the region, but there are enough differences that enable us to say, okay, this, this particular work represents the context in Cambodia, this particular work represents the context in Indonesia. So there's a lot of parallels, but also there's a lot of differences and uniqueness in the pieces that we have. So we both come from families that sort of collected art, but not as uh, widely as we do now. Over time, our tastes changed, and the works that we collect now are I think far more edgier than when we first started. And so it just demonstrates, you know, the, the growth that we've encountered or we've had throughout our, our collecting 